But I wanted to start off today by reading a speech that I gave at one of the ceremonies that took place when Mikey was awarded the Medal of Honor. And this was not the ceremony that took place at the White House with President Bush, which actually the entirety of Tasking a Bruiser did attend that, and it was awesome. But I gave this speech at a Navy ceremony that took place, I think it took place later in the day or perhaps the next day at the Navy Memorial in Washington, D.C. And that day there was a ton of senior naval officers in in attendance and basically the whole of the seniority of, of of the Navy was there you know, this, the chief of naval operations and the secretary of the Navy. And there was a bunch of other Medal of Honor winners there, including a couple other SEAL Medal of Honor winners. And it was a, a very fitting day. And it was a great honor for me to be able to give this speech. And here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is obviously very humbling to be here today as it was humbling to be on the battlefield of Ramadi with my fellow SEALs and the 228 Brigade Combat Team, the Iron Soldiers, and then the 1-1 AD, the Ready First Combat Team, which was formed up by our brothers from the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. And it included such hallowed units as the 1st to the 506 Band of Brothers, the 137 Bandits, and the 38 Marines. I met Mike Monsoor when he checked into SEAL Team 3 as a new, highly motivated young frogman. As we trained and prepared to deploy to Iraq, everyone learned that Mike was an incredible person. He was gifted at everything he did, hardworking, funny, and selfless. He was the ultimate teammate, the ultimate friend. When Mike died, a picture of him circulated in the news. It showed Mike and his platoon mates in the war-torn streets of Ramadi. Shrouded in a mist of greenish yellow smoke, which was used to mask their movement from the enemy. That picture says so much. Mike's gun is at the ready, his face is calm, almost smiling, despite the obvious chaos and danger around him. Ramadi at the time was the epicenter of the insurgency in Iraq, a city filled with peril. The hardened enemy was bent on destruction. They fought with ruthlessness, constantly on the attack with machine guns, mortars, grenades, and IEDs. Brave men died or were wounded every day. And every day, brave men continued to push forward into the fray. For those of us who were there, that picture of Mike captures all of this. In the picture, his brother seals are nearby, but Mikey is out front. I have looked at this picture over and over again, and it speaks to me. As someone that had the pleasure of knowing Mikey as a friend and had the honor of serving with him on the battlefield, this photograph tells me a story. As I look at that picture, I hear a voice in a humble but confident tone. This voice says to me, I am Michael Mansoor. I am patrolling through the streets of Ramadi. It is a city devastated by war. Bullet holes cover the rubber, rubbled buildings. Burned out cars litter the streets. I am walking just behind my point man. I am ready. My eyes sting from the sweat. My gun and gear are heavy, but these things do not bother me. There is no comfort here, but this is the life I have chosen, and there is no other place I would rather be. I am Michael Monsoor. 
I pray and I believe. My faith is my shelter. My faith is my strength. Fear thrives in this place, but fear is no match for my faith. Faith conquers all. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. Lord, protect my brothers above all else. You have made me ready to protect them. I am Michael Mansoor. I am far away from home. I miss my family. I miss my mother, my father, my sister, and my brothers. Everything I am is rooted in them. I want to hold my nephews and nieces again. I want to make them smile and laugh. But I am far away from home. Instead, I smile at the Iraqi children when we pass them by. When we encounter Iraqi families, I treat them with respect and dignity. I know the importance of family because there is nothing more important to me than my family. I am Michael Mansoor. I love my country, my fellow SEALs, and the men fighting alongside us. The men fighting alongside us in the streets are infantry men, grunts. I know these grunts are not just soldiers and marines, but fathers and brothers and sons. I know because my father and brother were also grunts, proud marine riflemen. We are fighting a determined enemy, but we are strong. Our strength is our brotherhood. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines fighting together. A brotherhood bound by sweat and blood and tears. Together, we live in dust and dirt and filth and death. Death is everywhere. Many of my brothers have fallen. Mark is gone, but we fight on for, for the men to our left and right. We fight on. I am so proud to be part of this band of brothers. I am Michael Mansoor. I am ready, forged by faith and family, molded by belief and brotherhood. I have lived life to its fullest. I have not looked back. I leave nothing but love. And I have no regrets. I am Michael Mansoor. I am the frogman on the high ground. And I have given everything for you. And that was the speech. And I did my best to share my thoughts about Mikey.